Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on the day. I'm trying to either catch up or get ahead. It's a busy week, it's a busy week, but we are here for season two, episode 15 of Lucifer. And it appears we have rolled back the romance storyline on Lucifer and Chloe a smidge, a smidge. We had Candy, Mrs. Morningstar, the bride of the week. <laughs> sure, which I thought initially was to create that barrier between Chloe and Lucifer, although why he thought he could still work with her? Of course, I know why he thought he could still work with her because it's Lucifer and that's what Lucifer does is he doesn't realize the full picture up front. But Candy was also ploy to find out what mom's plan is, which we always knew what mom's plan was. Mom wants to get back into heaven and she wants Lucifer's help and Aminadil's. Did she always want Aminadil's help or is Aminadil handy being there? Mm -hmm. But she's using Lucifer to get back up into heaven. But now Lucifer has figured out how exactly with the flaming blade of something. <laughs> remember so I guess that's where we're at I guess where that's where we're at for now okay sure I'm ready to get to it and I know you're ready for me as well so I'm gonna get under the big cozy blanket even though it's not chilly down here as you can tell I'm not wearing gloves Ooh, and I actually turned off the space heater and I've had some some cocktails I'm good I'm good on the cocktail for now however this is something I've been meaning to do for a bit and then I keep forgetting. And then we had that whole sidetrack, Lucifer hell storyline, Chloe poisoning, but I think we can bring it back. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I enjoy a good drinking game. <laughs> and there's one I wanna put into play for Lucifer. It's something that they do every so often, but there was a bit stretch there where it was almost every episode. And when I hear it, for some reason, it goes right into my ear and go, ha ha, which is, every time they say they're gonna put out a bolo. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me go, uh. <laughs> but it does. Anytime they call for a bolo in any capacity, I'm gonna have my drinking game beverage. If you've seen it, I got my bottle of Glen Levitt handy for the Lucifer drinking game. So anytime they say bolo, I'm gonna take a shot. I know you're getting, saying you're shooting Glenn Levitt. Yes, because it's what I have. But play along if you wish. If you don't, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. You're gonna remember full episode is available on Patreon. You're gonna hit subscribe while we get all ready. And if you're watching me on Patreon, thank you so much. You guys are so much fun. So sync up your sound, sync up your picture. I'll got a time start. We'll do this together. Okay, let's get to it. Azrael's blade. So if we could just get your brother to stop drinking and show us where he hid it. I just wanted you to tell him what you told me before I make a mess. Mm -hmm. What mess are you going to... Okay. Get someone I could keep an eye on it. I wouldn't want someone to incite another stabbing rampage now, would you? Mm-hmm. I thought father destroyed it during my rebellion, so I wouldn't use it against him. Father said he destroyed it. Apparently, he just hid it in plain sight. Hmm. It's so small and so not flaming. <laughs> That's because only you, my light bringer. The light bringer. Oh. Now, none of them have wings, so how are they supposed to get to heaven to bring the blade close enough to get to father. Maybe I should try it. Your brother is the light bringer, Menadio. He just needs to apply himself and get angry. Well, I can't just get angry. <laughs> That'd be annoyed. Maybe not angry. <laughs> so the three of you plan to use this flaming sword to cut through the gates of heaven and go home. Do you mean actual gates? Like big and pearly? Old dudes in white robes? And my dad is Morgan Freeman. Focus. <laughs> now, come on. I need you to help me control my emotions. Well, emotions can't be controlled, Lucifer. What? I can help you become aware of what it is you're feeling or trying to avoid feeling. She says to the man of 
the picture of avoidance. So something in sight for them waiting for me to figure it out. I think you married her to hide something. Or from something. Or someone. If you're unwilling to bring those walls down, I can't help you. Are you okay? What did you do with my roommate? She would never ask about my feelings. <laughs> so they're both acting contrary to what they usually would be like. I guess I'm still a little upset that Lucifer just disappeared on me and got married just when we were... <sighs> you know, I don't know what we were. And sure, he got it annulled right away, but you know, that almost makes it worse. <laughs> Have you noticed any- Oh, but Maze, this would be such good, good, good gossip fodder. Nice, Maze. Come on, nice. I'm sorry. Okay, I can't deal with human emotions. Of course. What did I expect? Tall, non-fat almond milk latte with sugar-free caramel drizzle and no vodka this time. This time. <laughs> The victim's name is Debbie Lang. She worked as the head of administrations of a very prestigious elementary school on the west side. Well, poor Debbie was stabbed in the back. Literally. Maybe mm -hmm. figuratively, too. PhD in psychology, certificate for behavioral therapy. I should have thought this woman had figured out human interaction, and yet she provoked someone into killing her. Therapists don't really know anything, do they? Ooh, Lucifer's projecting his personal issues on the case. And I got into it with my shrink a couple of weeks ago. Weeks ago? Ooh, who's your, who's your, who's your shrink? What's this? The missing pieces that murder weapon? Missing commemorative scissors. Vec knew the killer, so we should go to the school where she worked. And when they ripped it off the wall, it didn't bring the picture down with them? Or unless the picture got put back up? You know, Debbie was the best head of admissions we've ever had. The no phones on campus which sends a message that our arms aren't actually available to our children wait that's what's his name mm. cosby show mm -hmm. our groundbreaking pedagogical approach focuses on emotional self-control elvin elvin alvin this is fascinating detective the so-called expert i just consulted insisted emotions can't be controlled well we respectfully disagree mm. our children learn to manage their emotions in no time well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Let the schooling begin. <laughs> what about outside the faculty? Any recent incidents with parents, maybe? Nothing like that would ever happen to Starford. Huh, weird. Because the heads of admissions at other prestigious private schools are practically stalked by eager parents. So maybe the spots here at Starford just aren't as coveted. Not <laughs> so. Just the other day. Well, perhaps there was one incident. What was said? I will kill you. You have to understand, I was furious that she'd rejected our son, Wolf. A Starford education feeds almost directly to the Ivy League. Debbie they look took like our little money kids. and crushed our son's future. Well, she took their money. What money? Well, she implied that a hefty contribution to the school would grease the wheels on Wolf's admission. Oh. What's the contribution? When we tried to bring it up to Debbie, she had the gall to suggest that the school hadn't received the donation. But the check cleared. Lying. By who? We could never kill anyone. Then can you explain why the murder weapon was found in your pool house? Who's staying in their pool house? Morningstar? Who's asking? I am, yes. But sadly, I don't have the time to give you the most amazing night of your life. Mr. Morningstar, you're under arrest. By whom? Ladies, he's resisting arrest. Cousin. Right, why do you sexy detectives look so dis- Are they the Britneys? Mum! Mum, come on! Come on out from wherever you're snooping! I will never manipulate you again, Lucifer. Since anger didn't work, I wanted to incite a different emotion. See if that would get the sword fired up. A foursome isn't an emotion, Mum. You'd understand if you had children. That's it, Mum. You're right. I need to have a child. What? Are we going to see Trixie? What was that leap? Sure. <gasps> oh, okay. 
But I have more important things to attend to first. Yeah, I'm sure you do, but hold on, something's bothering me. John and Craig said that their check cleared, but Debbie told them the school never received their money. What if somebody embezzled the money at the school? So, you know what we gotta do? Check the books, see if there's a record of the donation. Baby, why are you still in your PJs? You're gonna miss the bus. Why don't you go and deal with the donation thingy and I can uh, take the little sugar plum fairy to school. You're gonna be in trouble if my mom finds out. Well, oh, said I'd drive you to school. And never they went to school, yeah. Time. Okay, I just realized what he was doing. Mr. Morning, sir. Yes. Hey, Mr. Taylor. Ah, here for the Starford tour. I am indeed. I am indeed. And this little creature, wow, who gets whatever she wants. Chocolate cake. Trixie Morning Star. Nice to meet you. Trixie Morning Star. Good job. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> There is our plant-based kitchen. Uh, it's where the students make their own lunch. What if they run into the dean? <laughs> you have to touch. Don't you have a leash or something when we go out? Do you want to sell this or not? Uh, sorry, this isn't my normal job. I'm just filling in until we find a replacement for poor Debbie. Oh. Well, what is it you normally do? Uh, I'm the movement and wellness mentor. So you're the PE teacher? Movement and wellness director. Listen, what would be really helpful is turning feelings into something, like a weapon. I think I know just the class. Would this be his class? Come on, child. Come on, child. You want to look through our ledgers? They're going to run to everybody. We want to know if Debbie was telling the truth about the missing donation, and it could tie into the motive for the murder. Did the dean, did, did the dean take a deposit? You got me. I did it. Why? I guess I was tired of feeling like I didn't belong. Starford seemed so non judgmental. And I'll tell you why I'm laughing in a little bit later. No, Debbie. Assumed the parents never extended the check. They called her a liar and got so upset. They killed her. But I'm to blame. Uh, I am Detective Decker. This is oh, Detective. You're Trixie's cop mom, aren't you? That's a great kid you've got. Do you know, how do you know my daughter? Uh, she's in Madison's class right now. Yeah, her father brought her in. I'm pretty sure he didn't. But the good news is, bad feelings can be harnessed into good actions. My son Ranger knows this, right Ranger? Oh, Ranger's a student. Oh God, <laughs> that's, oh, oh. Would any of the children like to volunteer? I feel sad. Okay, why? My mommy almost died. Oh, she's going true. She's going with truth. But she has helped so many other people with their problems. I don't want her to worry about mine. How does one control that juvenile angst usefully? For example, she could write a poem. I came here to learn how to turn emotions into energy, not to become Dr. Zeus. <laughs> Well, creative energy is energy. Oh, come on. If I wanted to attend an art class, I would have at least had the sense to take one with a nude model. Now, I suppose you're channeling emotional despair over not getting dessert before your veggies, are you? No. This is a picture of my mommy stabbing Debbie. Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Detective! Right, before you chastise me for kidnapping your offspring, I've solved the case. Ta-da! Is Trixie okay? We'll talk to her. She's been essentially kidnapped. <laughs> it's been a big day for everybody. You need to understand, I'm dealing with the most challenging issue. Yeah, I issue. want to talk to my daughter for a second. Well, this is nice. I love how she's like, I'll deal with you later, my kid comes first. Do you want to talk about something now? I could tell you anything. I'd like to ride with Lucifer. You are lucky. My daughter likes you so much. Yes, I'm starting to respect the deceptive little parasite. <laughs> Oh, well, that's nice. Speaking of, <laughs> deal's a deal. What? <laughs> She's going to drive. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think, I think he really would have taught her how to drive. Oh, kids. So take your musical energy. Oh, God, who is this? Come on then, a fancy bit of exercise after a frustrating day. Is this another brother? Is this another brother? 
Or his sister? Oh, it's mom. It's mom. Mom. Let me see the blade. Anything? And what did you expect me to do? Stab you? I was trying to get you worked up. Anger and a No, he needs to channel his musical creativity. What if you really wanted to upset me? You should have just thrown me into the Corvette. Oh yeah. That would upset me too. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! Just really need to get home where we belong. Or else what? She's got a timeline. Why are you being invited to a grieving gathering at Stratford Academy? Because Trixie's being considered for admission. Apparently she impressed some of the teachers. <laughs> I mean, don't you think that with the divorce and the move and everything that Trixie's had enough big changes lately? Exactly. One morning at Starford and she's been opening up like I haven't been able to get her to do for months. I don't know if it's Starford as much as Lucifer is getting her to open up. Well, maybe we can consider sending our daughter to that school after we've solved the ongoing murder investigation there. <laughs> it's a little detail. So you said that you killed Debbie. No, I, I said I wanted to kill her. Good God, what are these people saying in front of their children? Why would you say that to him? Because I'm single and I work full time. And Debbie had a million little ways of making me feel like a bad mom because of it. Joy, where were you two nights ago? Uh, I was I was with Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor, the wellness mentor. What were you doing? We weren't discussing the French New Wave. Wait, she's not married, right? The man is as dumb as a box of hair, but he does know how to move. Like, you want to know who killed her? You should go to that grieving gathering they're throwing. All her frenemies will be there. So I'm having trouble following along because um, the, the, the cocktails I've had today are keeping up with me. Catching up with me. Yeah, I'm a little fuzzy right now. Okay, Trixie might get into this private school, but it's super exclusive, and I'm not sure that I want her in that kind of environment. Okay, a school like that is great for Trixie. Fancy pants rich kids are like vipers, okay? Trixie will learn to slash them with her words, and I will teach her the knives. But uh, I don't think you can help me with, with this now. Hi, uh, Chloe Decker, uh, Trixie's mom. Alone? Just me, alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Actually, she's with me. <laughs> I was wondering if Maze was gonna show up with her. Oh, two mommies? Nobody talked about the extremely handsome, very tall British man in this well-dressed that was there earlier, saying she was Trixie's dad. <laughs> I'm sorry, that would have gotten around. At, at least up north here, it would have gotten around. Oh, wow. I guess networking is the new grieving. I'm the event coordinator here. Mid-afternoon yoga always needs more volunteers. <laughs> oh, I would love to, but mid-afternoons, I'm at my job. She's a homicide detective. She has a gun and everything. <laughs> Real pistol in the sack, too. <laughs> Oh, jokester. I wish, jokester. <laughs> wish I had time for a job, but you know what they say. Exceptional child, exhausted mom. She's she's the event coordinator. Isn't that like a job? Look at everybody. Look at these parents. Who has a kid and is this put together? They have nannies. They have nannies. When that woman walked in, the entire room started commenting on her cheek filler. Oh, Maze was listening. They love gossip. And the juicier, the better. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, does Amenadil want to be the one that gets it going? Will that make him feel accomplished and worth something? Careful, brother. Too much of that to make you go blind. Mom was right. I can't make it work. Because he's angry. Hoping for a celestial spark? You don't even have your powers. Yeah, thanks for that reminder, Lucy. You know, I also don't seem to have much of mom's attention anymore because unlike you, I don't have some glorious destiny to wield the sword. Oh, and then Adele's going through things. He's going through things. Can't you just be grateful for once? You're the light bringer. Am I? Knife. I was gonna say, put the gun down. Put the knife down. What if she's wrong, brother? But she's been acting very odd recently. 
This obsession with getting home is a bit much, don't you think? You see, I thought we all wanted to go back. Oh, uh, no, no. He's made it very clear. He's happy where he is. You know, say what you will about Debbie, but that woman knew how to cater a party. You're married to that cop, right? Yeah. See, this word is getting around. The word about Lucifer wasn't getting around. My wife is very close to making an arrest. She found evidence just tonight. DNA. It's in the car right now. Somebody here is going <laughs> to jail. <laughs> Oh, but keep that on the DL. Right. Knuckles. Knuckles. <coughs> okay, all I have to do now is stake out the car. If the killer is here, I'll go out there for the evidence. Which car? Whose car? Her car? Oh, the teacher. <gasps> ah, that's the person I'm looking for. Oh, no, Lucifer, this is poor timing. Sorry, do you need something out of the detective's car? Uh, uh, yeah, she she asked me to grab something for her. Ah, well, let's get that over with so we can focus on what's important, me. Lucifer, how do you have keys to Chloe's car? Oh, don't tell her I uh, got a copy, mate. She gets all fussy about things like illegal duplicates. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Um, Madison said she needed something from your car. She's the killer. <laughs> no, it isn't, Lucifer, please, she... <gasps> Why didn't you tell me all this earlier? Okay, this is when Mace comes in and saves the day. Stay back! <laughs> you know why I'm going uh, uh, at how they're. Mm. Your feelings into something other than bullets. That might. <gasps> oh, she knew how to take the safety off. Okay. And now you got witnesses. This is all your fault. Lots of witnesses. Chiseled abs and your huge. You slept with the PE teacher. Who hasn't? But we didn't have sex. <gasps> well, I mean, okay, one time, but come on, that was like years ago. One time was all it took. Oh, no. This <gasps> is about your son, isn't it? What, you mean the boy in the class with the special diet of boogers and pig? But he's not very smart. <laughs> My husband is, and I wish Debbie put two and two together. You were just thinking of your son's future. I, I get it. I, I'm a mother, too. I, I got so angry, I couldn't control myself. What? Hold on. All this talk about controlling your emotions and harnessing them for creation was all just a sham. Ah. We can't control our emotions. We just have to keep trying. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> there comes Maze. There comes Maze. I knew she'd come out of nowhere, but jeez. So if I were you, I'd take my child out of this school. Wait. I'm a father. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to that school today, and I think they'd let you in if you wanted to go. You still want your child in that school, Chloe. With the staffing that they have. You and me, we never have to pretend with each other. I really didn't like that school. I didn't like it either. <laughs> Man, her mother's been poisoned, shot. It's been a lot. Are you ready to be more forthcoming now? <sighs> yes, I suppose. I plan on kicking mum into heaven and slamming the gates on her backside. Won't God destroy her? Hopefully they tear each other apart, then they'll both get what they deserve. Punishment. Well, that's what he's all about. That I felt things that I don't want to feel anymore. That right there, that what you stopped yourself from feeling. That's exactly what you need to feel. Well, the anger. Not the anger. Disappointment. The pain. But the only way to get over that pain is to go through it. Is Dr. Linda speaking from experience? So you think you figured it out? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> she dealt with it? Oh no. That's it. You must not be feeling enough. You have to try harder. 
Mom. That's enough. I'm not broken. We'll fix it. There's plenty of time. <sighs> of course. Oh, no, no, she's lying. She's lying. But she's getting stronger and this stronger. But she's falling apart. She's decomposed. <gasps> this body isn't strong. Oh. And if she turns into her light, does she just disappear forever? So no bolo shot, but yeah, the cocktails I had earlier were catching up with me. I'm trying to think, what did we learn? What was revealed? That was a crazy pants. <laughs> That was zip, 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 zip. Okay, okay, sure. So the takeaway is Lucifer motions. You can't control your emotions. I wouldn't say you can't control your emotions, but you can manage your emotions. And Lucifer needed to stop avoiding the pain and his disappointment. I'm gonna label some disappointment as well. Throw that in there. The the storyline of mom wanting to get back into heaven. I think, did we touch upon what happens when she does? Dad and mom argue heaven's destroyed and then what does that mean for humanity? If heaven's destroyed, will humanity know it? Will it affect them? I have a feeling this is something we learn in future episodes. <laughs> but that's what makes me wonder now. Like she gets to heaven and then but she wants to take it over to do. Hmm. <laughs> and how are they going to get up there? They don't have wings. How are you get up there? But when Lucifer gets in touch with his feelings, you just want to give him a hug and say, oh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> you don't want to see the devil's <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all we got out. That's that's where we ended up, right? The whole, the meaning of this episode is Lucifer realizing he has pain he must deal with. And we went on a crazy ride to get there. <laughs> so insane. Okay, 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 there we go. Episode 14, 14. We still got more left of this season. More seasons to go. <laughs> okay, ta-da! Well, thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. It's been a crazy one, y'all. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And until next time, oh, we've got House of Dragon. We've got the boys. We have Bridgerton. Something else is dropping this week and I can't remember what. So there's lots of shows, lots of variety besides Lucifer. I would love to see you there. And you're gonna take care of your bodies and you're gonna get hydrated and sober up maybe. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.